Hoff a day and what's up everybody? I uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Thank you for joining in on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a catch cooking clean, but unfortunately there was no catches today. I did very bad today, but on the good note, today's water was super beautiful. It was crystal clear. The water was so glassy from on top and the conditions were just perfect. But you know, sometimes you have your good days, sometimes you have your bad days. And here's a little bit of my bad stuff. So just look at how beautiful this was. This is a three-legged turtle I saw. Probably got attacked by a shark or something. I just hope that it has a good rest of its life, man. Hope that turtle lives. Mm -hmm. But just look at this. Like, the water was crystal clear. The sky was so beautiful. And days like this are just perfect. So, uh. I'm about to get into my catch cook and clean and I'll see you guys then. Yo what's up everybody, uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we got a catch cook and clean for you guys. Uh, I went fishing this morning, unfortunately I didn't catch much. Alright, so uh, what's up everybody? We uh, got these beautiful looking fish. I caught these two, these were just in the freezer. These are very fresh, caught this morning by my cousin. Uh, he did a very good job today. I'd like to give a shout out to him. Thank you for the fish, bro. Uh, excuse the dogs, guys. But uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fish and there's this little, pretty much like the anus of the fish and we're gonna put our knife through it cut all the way through, all the way down to this anal fin. And we wanna get all the way to the gills, right? So we're gonna do that. All the way down. Let's see here. Grab some scissors, grab some scissors over here. We're gonna cut this part right here. Cut straight through it. And we got the gills inside. Uh, and then we got all this nasty, insides of the fish so what you want to do is you want to reach in towards the gills you're, you're gonna feel a little bone right here right here you know you want to pull that bone and all the gills will come with it and most of the time the intestines and stuff of the fish is connected as well so you can just throw that right up and uh, put that off to the side so you can get to later so uh, now I'm just gonna time lapse me cleaning the rest of the fish and I'll meet you guys when I'm rinsing it. Thank you. All right, everybody, now that we're done gutting and taking the gills out of the fish, we wanna just rinse them off nicely. Get all that, all this stuff that we don't need. Make sure we didn't miss anything like that. I missed a little bit. So we're just gonna take that right out of there. Toss it down. Just a little bit of gills too. And then uh, when we're done rinsing, what we're gonna do, there's a lot of slime in these fish too, by the way. A lot of slime. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our fork. I don't really have a, something to take the scales off, so I just use a fork. And we're just going against the scales. Just, just scale the fish. Usually when the fish is fresh, it's very easy to take off the scales. But this fish was sitting in the freezer for a little bit. The other fish will be way easier though. And uh, we're just gonna do this for the rest of the fish. And after this, we'll be cutting and seasoning the fish, getting our oil and our stove ready. And yeah, uh, I'm about to time lapse this real quick, just like I did with the last one. And I'll see you guys when I'm done.
Hi right, everybody, so uh, now that we're done cleaning these beautiful looking fish, uh, what we want to do is we want to cut them up, dry them, and season them. But before we do that, we're going to allow our oil to heat up. And this is a, this is a, it's not a deep fry, just a shallow fry. So you want to make a, put about, and that much oil, that would be great. And, uh, but these fish is the, the meat very soft so hold on. I have to find this. Alright, so I guess that side ain't working, but yes, there we go. And we got fire. We're gonna let that heat up. Uh next thing we wanna do is we want to make sure these fish are dry before we season them get them off this, dry them we want all of them to be dry so that that season can soak in yes Chessie go so uh, yeah we want to get all these fish nice and dry the drier it is the crispier they will be so that's what we're trying to do make sure you get all that moisture out we'll get everything no water at all uh, yeah, here we go. Drying off the fish. Very beautiful fish. Go ahead and dump this real quick. We just dry that off too while we're at it. Alright, alright. There we go. Pop that to the side. And then uh, put this fish back. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the fish so that it both cooks faster and the seasoning can go inside it so i'm just going to make two lines across there one two very nice again on this side i'm going to do the same thing one two and uh we're just going to do that do that and we have our mixture here we want to put like uh some black pepper there you go, some black pepper. You want more salt than black pepper, remember that? I uh, I say a good is maybe three to one for salt to black pepper. Let me put a little bit more black pepper. Get a lot of fish. There we go. We're gonna mix that up. There we go, very nice. We just want more salt. The salt will help tenderize the the fish. Black pepper will just give it a little bit of spice. So we're gonna get this. We're just gonna sprinkle it on onto one side and sprinkle it on to the other. Give it a nice little rub. There we go. There we go. And that's it. Uh, I'm gonna do the rest of the fish and I'll be back with you guys. All right, we're done seasoning it with that. And for me, I have my last little touch. This is just some garlic powder. Just to add a little bit more flavor to the fish. There we go. Only one side's good. All right, how's about we just do both? Why not? Um, there we go. There we go. And now that we are done with these fish, our oil should be nice and hot. Let me just check real quick. A good way to check is just to get a little bit of water, dip it in. If it starts boiling, uh, then it should be ready. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Now that the oil is very hot, you want to get the longest tongs that you can find. Make sure they're long because this oil will pop everywhere and it's a little scary to get that on your body. Uh, just saying. So we got some room in here for some, like at least three little fish. Let's go ahead and drop those in. There we go. One. Two. And... Just want to let it cook a little bit. Make sure you get 
the oil up onto the cake as well. There we go. So it's nice and hot. That's good. We'll let that cook for a good couple of minutes. So uh, now while this is cooking, we want to get our plate. I'm going to wipe it down a little bit. There we go. Just get all that extra salt and stuff off. Make sure I get everything off. I'm just getting it ready so that we can put the fish onto a plate. Let me grab some paper towel real quick. Sorry, it's under you guys. Thank you. Uh, you just want to fold it, put it on, and grab a couple more pieces. Uh, yeah. There we go. You see the fish? Nice, nice. So you want to just wait until it turns like a nice golden brown. Still need some more time to cook. Uh, I'm going to time lapse real quick. I'll get to you guys when I am done. That's good. That's amazing. Um, thank you guys for watching this video today. Uh, I hope you all have a great day, night, whatever time it is.